So, so describe uh, AAU to us like in your eyes. Like I know it's a big jump from AUSA right to AAU, but like mm. going on tour with AUSA, AUSA multiple times. Mm. Like I know I went twice. It really helped me develop. But describe AAU from your experience. It's like I like jungle. It's like a jungle a little bit. Like there's a lot going on, um, but it's fun though. Like it's like you get to test yourself a lot. Uh, it's uh, yeah, and it's it's like anything. You can do, the more you put into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. Mm -hmm. um, that first time was like, it was like a bit of a oh okay, like this is what it's like. You know, you play three games. Like you play one game early in the morning, midday, and then like late at night, and then like you gotta, but you just gotta keep going. You gotta like move on to the next game. You can't can't like think too much about what happened last game and stuff yeah. like that so like it was like it was something where you know you just had to adapt to it yep. a little bit it was fun though I really enjoyed it because it was just like basketball all day exactly so, it was fun. so like describe the feeling when you like walked in to the to the gyms right yeah crazy, like, explain it to the people oh like man you walk into those gyms it's like uh it's like um Oh, uh, it's like semi-finals for, uh, for reps, yep. but it's a lot less organized and there's like it just mayhem everywhere and yep. there's like college coaches everywhere too. Uh, just like, it, it's, yeah, it's like that because there's just teams everywhere, like on the sideline, on like the bleachers, like everywhere. And they're just, yeah, everyone's just getting ready to play basically. Parents yelling at you. Oh cameras everywhere oh, and also like you'd said reps but like you walk into a reps final and it's two courts yeah, nah. this is you step in there's two courts and then two more yeah and then two more it feels like it's never ending away and there's like five there's more. another five courts it's like yeah ridiculous. it's nuts the only place that is somewhat like that is Penrith now yeah. because they have the three two quarters. Mm -hmm. Bankstown, same sort of thing, but yeah. like these are full but like everything court, packed. packed out. Yeah. But one side is all college coaches and one mm -hmm. side is just for the other teams and parents and stuff. Yeah. Like cameras always going, like just, it is actually unreal. Yeah, it's like what you see in those like overtime videos. Yeah. It's like real, it really is what, like, what you see. Yeah, so describe what went into going on two tours. Like, you went on your first one, a lot of people only get to go on one, right? Mm -hmm. And like, I'm just saying, I went on two. So describe to me what going on multiple tours done for you. Well, the first one, well, I, here's the thing. I knew I wanted to go play college basketball. Like, I knew that's what my goal was. So I was gonna do whatever I needed to do to get there. So, um, but the first one was, great because it just kind of like it kind of prepared me for the second one which is where I got all my offers and stuff like that from yeah. um, the first time I kind of didn't know exactly what to expect but had a, a decent idea um, but the first one was good it just kind of helped me kind of prepare for that the second one where I really kind of yeah. played um, like knew what I wanted to do what I how I wanted to play yeah. kind of how to promote myself in terms of like on the court like yeah. how like I wanted a college coach to, to scout me, kind of. Yeah. So I knew what I was good at, knew what I wasn't good at, knew what I was trying to push for. Um, and I was pl also playing a little out of position the first time I went. So the second time I went, I knew exactly what position I wanted to play, how I wanted to play, and, and that was that helped me kind of get to where I, where I wanted. Yeah, exactly. So you went, did you go year 11 or year 10, the yeah, first so one? so I went year 10 and then year Yeah, eight. so because at that young age going over, because I went 11, 12, right, but like, Going at year 10, do you feel like it really pushed you again, like to adapt and realize, like you said, you went to your second tour and you knew what to do, but like, did it push you to adapt after going in year 10? Did it give oh, you like yeah. a push to go, oh, okay, I need to do this better? Yeah, so the first time it made me realize the speed change. So like over there is obviously like, it was just faster. Yeah. And um, I wouldn't say stronger, but I would yeah. say definitely say faster yeah. in terms of just the speed of getting up and down. And um, so like, yeah, my fitness and stuff like that, I worked on that a lot move, going the next tour, like yeah. being able to just run up and down, you know more consistently um, and stay at a high pace. Yeah. yeah, that was like one thing I definitely had put into my training after that second time. Yeah, so after two tours, you're obviously gonna have a bunch of good memories, right? On the court, off the court. Like, what was your best memory on an AUSA tour? Oh, so this one time, we so my first trip, we ended up getting into like the winner's bracket. Yep. So we were like, um, we were, like made it to like the top eight or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we had, uh, so all the, most of the other teams, uh, other AUSA teams were knocked out at that point. So they all packed out the stands to like cheer us on while we were playing. And that was, that was really fun. Yeah, like it was, yeah. Cause they were talking smack and yeah. it was like, yeah, it was mad. It was it's 